Welcome to Aquabiotic Systems. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick little tour of my aquaponic system. I've um, had it going probably since about June of 2011. And it is now November 6th, 2011, about four months later. Let's go check it out. So here we've got our whole little electrical pump set up. Um, right now all it has is the back wall soon. It'll have a roof over its head with a little cement platform uh, where I'll be storing some electrical stuff, outlets, etc., switches to turn things on and off, as well as the air pump and the water pump. Here we've got our switches to turn the pumps on and off, as well as some outlets. It's running on 240 volt. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about how our air system works. Um, so I'm going to give you a rundown here of how we have our PVC pipe and tubing all set up. So here we've got our two air pumps. They each have a hose right here. There's two hoses. And as you can see, right there, as well as right here, we've got our tubing that comes from the pump and goes into this into this device that we've created. It's kind of like a manifold, an air manifold. So we've got an end cap here that we actually screwed a hole in and screwed a little nipple on. And then we actually drilled some holes into the same thing all around where we've got these nipples. I'll show you here. And you can actually see the water bubbling right there in the corners. Right there in that corner. Alright, so here we've got our little filter screen. I'll get to that in a second, but here again we have our nipples. And we have our air stones. So this manifold here pretty much is just taking all the air and circulating it around. So again, there's air coming in from this side, air coming in from that side. And between those two air pumps, I've got enough air to pump all my air stones. And there, you have my manifold. So now let's go back to this filter here. So this filter screen is a filter screen with about, I think it's a three to four inch pipe. And that pipe is buried underneath the ground and it pretty much goes to feed my wisteria. As you can see, I've got a nice little gazebo here with some plant cover to keep it cool. There's some banana trees in the back there, some bamboo, there's a rose bush. So this pipe goes underground from the filter, and we've got perforated pipe wrapped in this fabric here filter fabric underground and that serves as an overflow so we get a lot of rain here in Santa Cruz so we have to incorporate an overflow so that the tanks don't overflow with water the fish come falling off the top so we've designed that overflow so that as the water fills up from all the heavy rain all the way along um, I can actually feed all my other plants uh, that are around this vicinity so I can actually take the overflow water and bring it to where I need to uh, use a piece of time. Here we've got a fish. We've got about 170 rainbow trout more or less between this tank and this tank. And they're both buried underground. That helps us keep the water a lot colder. turn off these pumps here. By turning off these pumps, I think we might be able to get a good glimpse of some fish. I've had the fish for four months, and there's actually some pretty good sized fish in there. I see some swimming in there. I think it's feeding time.
to them. Exactly somewhere in here. You can't actually see we get quite the reflection there. We do see some close to the surface. That was a pretty big one right there. But let's see if we can get some light on here. stones which we use as our degas chamber and there you have it there's a filter screen down there there's a filter screen as well as the air stones which help to degas all the ammonia and then we go to our first trough we've got all kinds of different winter greens growing here as you can see that's one two three and there's another three down below there. And it's, they're all stepped. We've got one platform, this platform here, that stores these three, and then another platform there that stores those three. Right now our system's totally up and running. This bed right here has not been planted out yet. As you can see, I use bamboo rafts. These come from local and sustainable bamboo resource here in Santa Cruz. So I have untreated bamboo. I'm working on different designs for these bamboos. As you can see there, there's those three and each one of those are tiered. And then we've got ourselves another little platform here that houses the next thing. about maybe growing some algae that I might use as fuel for my veggie veggie powered diesel truck um, and also I can use some of that algae for fish food after I squeeze all the lipids and use that as fuel. So we've got many different kinds of vegetables here, winter vegetables, we've got cabbages, we've got broccolis, we've got lettuces, uh, kales, mustard greens, bok choys, all the kinds of different winter greens. Right now, I'm actually trying to work on the pH. The pH is at 75, and the water's at 51.4 degrees. That's actually really good trout-like cold water. Uh, now, there is a battle between the vegetables and the trout here because of that cold water, but again, I'm going with the winter greens, which do good at cold temperatures. All kinds of greens here, as you can see. We've got our plastic IBC tanks here, cut in half. These are the bottom halves, those are the top halves. I've also got some uh, mosquito fish uh, Western Gambusi is growing in these tanks. These mosquito fish help keep the mosquito population down. They eat all the algae, which uh, competes with the roots of the plants. 
for uh, nutrition. And they also serve as a fish food for my rainbow trout. I also have different methods of capturing bugs. It's one of the main diet for trout. And there you have it. So please check back with us soon um, as we keep, we'll keep you updated uh, to the progress of the system.